all burnished and it's shiny on the other. And if you ever met Wes, odds are that he was in one of those shirts. <laughs> Sweatpants, an engineer or cowboy boots of his choice. To the world, he didn't look like much. But then just like the shiny side of that penny, if you got to see it, you knew how special he was. As shown by all of us here, some of us kind of losing our minds on motorcycles on the way here. Why? Because he would have liked it. I could tell you the story about how, you know, boys kind of grew up. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a preacher. I don't remember when I met these guys. This is how long I've, I've known Tiger. So I just call my big brother and all of these guys. At one point in my uh, adventurous life, they've helped me out in more ways than I can even count. And the best part of it was is that they're all like Wes. A little battered, a little bruised. You know, I mean, he's blind in one eye and one lung, but I wouldn't count him down in a fight. <laughs> But then he would do things like present my sister-in-law with that necklace the day of their wedding. The necklace that he gave his mom when he came back from the Navy. Why? Because for him it was all about family. It's about making your mark. It was about being there for people in such a way that they just felt like they belonged. I can tell you about the time that Tiger busted off the antenna on his car and was thoroughly believing that he was about to receive the whooping that he would have received from the father from the father figure. And Wes simply looked at him and said, I don't listen to the radio much anyways. <laughs> tell you about that he befriended a man with MS and spent the day smoking reef and driving around town listening to music. Why? Because he knew that people needed someone. That you could be you in the world and still show kindness and compassion. Still have a hell of a good time. When I was in the uh, throes of my life, before it drastically changed, well, my life changed. I, I was part of a brotherhood. But because I chose to go a different way, uh, that brotherhood told me I was dead. And this man and the other ones basically told me we were brothers before that, but we'll still be brothers. I don't know how many times Wes drove me home from the bar when I shouldn't have been driving or walking or riding because I was just trying to kill pain. <laughs> never any judgment. Never any, uh, I gotta pour you out of the car. Every single next time, hey, preach. You go. There's a great big place I really, really believe in all of my adventures. And beliefs are important. But what's most important is how much love you give. How much grace and mercy you show. And for those of us who had a chance to know and understand less, family and his family 
read the letter is funeral because he wrote it to comfort them. And the first sentence of the letter said, if you are reading this, I am more alive than I have ever been. believes, I fully believe that right now he is more alive than he has ever been. And that if we sit and we look and we ponder, that we will see less everywhere we go. We will see his movements, we will see things that remind us of him, and we will just be able to understand that he's gone to a better place and someday he'll be able to greet us there, probably on the bike of his dreams. So Lord, I just thank you for him. I thank you for his time. And I thank you that he high-fived you when he walked through the gates and he is rolling like he has never rolled before. So just let us understand this in this time. In Jesus' mighty name. Tiger wanted to share something with us. Wrap it. We're going to do a live recording of this here. This is live. Speak <laughs> 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 That's what I'm <laughs>